Have you ever pondered why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer? This question was explored by Robert Kiyosaki in his groundbreaking book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. The book unfolds the tale of two fathers, one rich, one poor, and the lessons of financial literacy they imparted. The author's rich dad, his friend's father, was not an academically educated man. However, he understood the language of money. He knew how to make it work for him, how to invest, how to build assets. This understanding, this financial literacy, was his ticket to wealth. Contrastingly, the author's biological father, his poor dad, was a highly educated man, yet, despite his academic accomplishments, he struggled with money. He worked hard, earned a decent income, but never seemed to get ahead. His lack of financial literacy was his stumbling block. As we've seen, financial literacy is not about how much money you make, but how much you keep. What if I told you your house is not an asset, but a liability? It sounds shocking, doesn't it? This is exactly the kind of eye-opening wisdom shared in the seminal book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. The author, Robert Kiyosaki, shares valuable lessons he learned from his two dads. His rich dad was a financially savvy businessman, while his poor dad, his biological father, was a well-educated but financially illiterate individual. The rich dad used to say, if you want to be rich, you need to be financially literate. He believed in the power of understanding the difference between an asset and a liability. An asset, he explained, is something that puts money in your pocket. A liability on the other hand, takes money out of it. This seems simple, but many of us, like the poor dad, often mistake liabilities for assets. We buy houses, cars, and gadgets thinking they are assets, but in reality, these things can drain our wallets without us even realizing it. They take money out instead of putting it in. The rich dad's strategy was different. He would buy assets first, things like investments, businesses, and real estate that would generate income. Only then would he consider buying liabilities. This is how he built and maintained his wealth. So next time you're considering a big purchase, ask yourself, um, is this an asset or a liability? Remember, an asset puts money in your pocket while a liability takes money out of it. Have you ever considered escaping the rat race and becoming your own boss? The concept of entrepreneurship, as championed in the groundbreaking book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, is a compelling argument for just that. The rich dad in the narrative, a self-made entrepreneur, instills in the author the idea that true wealth comes not from a paycheck, but from generating income through one's own business ventures. The rich dad's philosophy diverges from the traditional path of seeking employment for financial security. He presents entrepreneurship as a means to create wealth rather than simply earn it. This perspective is juxtaposed against the poor dad's approach, a man who, despite his hard work and dedication, is perpetually tethered to his job, his financial fate forever in the hands of his employer. The poor dad's reliance on his job for financial stability is a stark contrast to the rich dad's entrepreneurial spirit of risk and reward. The rich dad understood that to truly control his financial destiny, he needed to be at the helm, navigating the seas of business and investment. This narrative underlines the fact that entrepreneurship is not just about making a profit. It's about creating value, shaping the world around us, and most importantly, taking control of our financial future. It's about the freedom to make decisions, to take risks, and to reap the rewards. Entrepreneurship is not just about making money, but about creating value and taking control of your financial destiny. So, what have we learned from Rich Dad, Poor Dad? We've delved into the power of financial literacy, a skill often undervalued yet paramount in navigating the tumultuous seas of economic uncertainty. It's not just about earning money, but understanding how to manage, invest and grow it. We've also explored the dichotomy of assets and liabilities. Remember, assets put money in your pocket while liabilities take it out. It's not about how much you earn, but how much you keep and grow. The mantra is simple accumulate assets, reduce liabilities, and then we've highlighted the importance of entrepreneurship. It's about taking control, being proactive and creating opportunities. It's about embracing risks, but calculated ones. Remember, the key to financial freedom is to be financially literate, invest in assets and consider entrepreneurship. Your financial destiny is in your hands. You're not just a player in the game of money, but the master of it. If you enjoyed this journey of financial wisdom, if you found the treasure trove of information insightful and transformative, we have a small request. 
please hit the like button. It's a simple act, but it helps us reach more people, spreading financial literacy and empowering others with the knowledge to take control of their financial destiny. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We have a lot more financial wisdom to share and we don't want you to miss out. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay informed, stay wealthy. Until next time, keep growing your assets, reducing your liabilities, and consider entrepreneurship. Your financial destiny is in your hands. But remember, you're not just a player in the game of money. You're the master of it.